Oh, backing up. <laughs> All right, y'all, we have just biked a couple miles out here to this spot at the beach. Hoping this is gonna be a good one here today. As you can see, just look at this. Look at that. <laughs> I've kind of figured out a way to strategically pack all the gear that we need because when we're biking out here, I only got two hands, man. I'm literally just the guy. Let me show you what we got today. So we got two rods, two rod holders, a bait bucket, all the bait and tackle hopefully we need in here. Put the hoodie on to have an extra little compartment here. So we are gonna be trying to find some bait here today. And we are gonna be trying to do something that I've been trying to do for a long time. You never know, man, today might be the day. Let me just show you real quick. We are at a beach where nobody, like look, y'all see anybody? Y'all see anybody? We are the only freaking ones out here. So that's either a good thing or a bad thing. Let's get set up. There is a fish that I've been trying to catch for a while. Today might be the day we get it. All right, so we might do some bouncing around a little bit. Let's take a load off. Oh my gosh, it's actually pretty heavy. So yeah, here's a better look. I've got a bunch of crap in here. Not sure if you guys can see this, but the tide goes all the way up to there at high tide, like pretty darn far away. It is still on the way out right now, which hopefully should be good for gathering our bait. Let's uh, set these rod holders up here. Ooh, okay, I'm already seeing some good signs. Water doesn't look too, too dirty. It's been really windy and stormy recently. That kind of dirties up the water and makes for some not the easiest fishing, but it looks, a little, it looks good today. We are on a freaking mission here today. I don't want to waste any time. So before we even try to gather our own bait, we're just going to get these rods rigged up. A rod in the water is better than no rod in the water. So what I've kind of been finding out about uh, fishing the surf, there's a lot of science that goes into it. You learn the more you go. And this is just something that you got to put a lot of time in. You got to go to a bunch of different spots, a bunch of different tides, times of the day. There's so many different factors that go into it. But what I've kind of figured out is you want to have a variety of baits. So we have some of these bait strips. I have uh, sand flea ones that we've been using. I still have one on there. And then we got blue crab and coquina clam. What I found is that it's best to, you know, look at your beaches, look on the sand, especially lower tides and see what kind of forage is there and then to kind of match that. And we've got some shrimp here. It's kind of frozen. It'll, it'll do, hopefully. Now, if you guys haven't seen the last video, I would recommend checking that out. We tied all these rigs up ourselves. We actually got all this stuff off Facebook Marketplace. Not these. These are uh, Sputnik sinkers. Basically, they stick into the sand and then as you pull them out, they kind of break off like that and you can just reel them in. They're pretty good for rougher days or you know, when your stuff's getting pushed around a little bit. But yeah, these rigs, we built them ourselves, handmade off Facebook Marketplace. We found a freaking tackle box that was crazy. So if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend checking that out. Bigger rod, we have this rig on, basically a high-low rig with uh, little pill floats that'll kind of help, you know, get it up in the water column a little bit. We're gonna put, I've never tried this, blue crab scented bait strips. I want to catch my first ever keeper, Florida Pompano. I mean, I just, I'm down to catch anything in here that swims, especially something we could eat, man. Be nice to do a little chef up, you know? I'm a young grasshopper or Padawan, if you will, to this area in Florida. This past fall, I was trying to figure out the Pompano. Did a lot of trips, did a lot of fishing, you know, not too much. Uh, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> we never caught our keeper. We caught a few baby ones though. All right, let's cast this out. Boom. Very nice. Hopefully this spring and today, possibly we can catch one. I've kind of been keeping an eye on the water temperatures. So basically, if you're not familiar with Pompano, and again, I'm new to this, I'm kind of learning this myself, but these fish migrate with the water temps. So in the fall, they kind of go, I think from like the North Carolina-ish area. They follow the water temperatures down towards like South Florida. And then in the spring, like now, they follow the water temperatures up. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. I think these are little coquina clams. I might be wrong, but I think that's what those are. So let me see if this matches our little bait we got on here. Sorta? Kinda? Ish? Maybe? Around this time of the year is when the pompano should be running through this area of North Florida. And I'm hoping that they're gonna be hungry. And don't get me wrong, it's not only pompano as well. But this is the salt water, you know? Lots and lots of possibilities for fish in the salt water. Talking redfish, uh, a lot of people have been catching black drum. 
But apparently, this is the time, man, where the Pompano you know, are starting to show up. Will they want to bite us? I don't, I don't freak it out. People have been catching them around here though. Not like a ton, like it's not on fire yet. But that's just one of the things about fishing. Like you never know if today could be the day where it's on fire or maybe no time this spring it's on fire or today's the only day. Like you just never know. This is kind of why I set up here. I don't even know if you guys can see this, but there is like a run out right here. Basically as the tide goes up, I don't know if you guys can see, it's still kind of wet all right through there. That is a little slough and fish will come up and swim through those. They'll eat bait, they'll eat these coquina clams and this other bait we're gonna try to get today. And then they kind of exit here. And then a lot of times like, you know, if bait's coming through here or fish are coming through here, there's other stuff waiting to eat that stuff. And that's why, you know, it's kind of a good idea to fish out right next to one of these things. So this is good. Again, there's a lot that goes into this kind of fishing. Like some people, you know, just, you think you come to the beach. I used to think this as well. You just pick any freaking spot. Like, dude, it's the ocean. You just throw your line out and you catch fish, hopefully. Sometimes, I mean, possibly you can do that, but you'll have your best chances if you can actually read the beach, which I'm still really learning how to do this. But if you can find the holes, find the runouts, find the areas where fish, you know, there's a reason for them to be there. I see a lot of stuff around here though. Let me show you what we got going on here. Oh, what's up seagulls? Look at this right there. See that hole? That hole has a bait in it that these fish go freaking crazy for. So I've heard, right? These are supposedly ghost shrimp and they kind of live their whole lives under the sand and they're super crazy looking baits. I'm gonna see if we can uh, suck some up. At a certain tide, I think we could have sucked this one up, but I think it's a little too hard sand right now. So this is a homemade bait sucker. We got a chopper flying over us. I will link that video down in the description below though, if you're interested to see how I made one of these. There's a PVC pipe in the PVC pipe. And as we pull, I don't know if you guys can see that, it sucks. We see a hole, there we go. You see that right next to my shadow right there? Do that, see how we're sucking down? That didn't really work too good actually. All right, let's try that again, hold on. Oh, okay, finally, finally we got one. That's actually a pretty big one. Dude, they look so weird. I got a video of this, hold on. That took so long. All right, so that right there is a ghost shrimp. They look very, very interesting. <laughs> Apparently their little nippers can hurt you too. Oh, why'd that take so long? Hopefully he doesn't dig his way down before we go get our bucket. <laughs> you, sir, are coming with us. Oh, that's so weird looking. Frick. So many holes here though. All right, well this is how you know we mean business. The shoes are now off. And so is the shrimp we had on this rig. Dude, it looks like a freaking like parasite or something. So what you're supposed to do is thread these things on your hook the best you can. They're very soft, so that might be difficult. All right, so I thread it on as best as I can. Now also what came in the uh, little tackle box from Facebook Marketplace is some of this stuff. It's just literally, I think it's called magic thread. Essentially, you just kinda thread this onto your hook as best as you can just to kinda keep it from coming off. Hope I kind of did that right. All right, so we've got a big goop of fresh bait and then we still have, I probably could have taken that fish bite off up there. I don't know. I'm very new to this stuff, all right? If anybody has any recommendations, let me know down in the comments below. And then we're just gonna put a piece of shrimp on this bottom one. Let's see if anybody's down to clown. It's got like a cool breeze. I thought it'd be really hot in this hoodie, but it feels, not too bad. I'm thinking this water might be a little chilly. Though. This is said to be some premier bait. This water clarity actually looks really good, man. I cannot imagine us not getting a bite today. Might have to bop around to different spots or something. Or we might just have to wait for the tide to do its thing. Launch that sucker out. All right, hopefully that stays on and something sees it and is like, oh my goodness, I have been waiting for that. Might as well check up on this one as well. All right, sick. I don't know if I mentioned it or not either, but this rig is a little bit different. 
instead of the floats we just have beads i've heard people say different things like oh floats use floats or oh don't use floats i feel like people say a lot of different things and especially like on the internet when it comes to what baits and products and all this stuff to use i feel like people you know sometimes they're like sponsored and it's like what do i actually buy you know what do i actually use I think the best way to know is just to go, you know? To go and to throw. Here's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, here's a hole. This hole going once, going twice. Anybody home? Yeah, it's a little bit easier to suck when you're near the water. That makes sense. I probably should have been doing that. Dude, I, there's like some rock down there or something. Maybe that's a clam. I don't know what that is. All right, well, our one ghost shrimp for sure got eaten. Need us some more ghosts. You could say it's slightly concerning that we have not, I mean, I I guess we got a bite, but I didn't see it. I think all it takes is just a little bit of patience sometimes. Hopefully. <laughs> all right, well, we spent some good time at that first spot, a little bit down ways on the beach. And we just biked over to a different spot that looks pretty interesting. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, there's some white water out there, a bunch of bars slash shallow water. And then right to the right of it, like right here, it is just, as you can see, no white water. So this should hopefully be a little bit deeper, maybe a little more fishy. I don't know. Oh, whoa, we got fish on. Uh oh, big fish. Oh, oh, he's on. Wait, are we on? No, I just didn't hook him. Dang it. Stuff is happening. Tide switched up. New spot. I have no clue what that was. Okay. That's a bite, dude. Okay, this actually might have a fish on it. Oh, there we go. We got a fish on. Oh, we got a fish on, baby. Fish on! I think first fish of the day. Please let me land it. I honestly don't even mind what it is. I just want a fish on the board. What's fighting? What the heck is that? Dude, what is that? Wait, what is that? Very interesting. All right. We got a bluefish. Oh, this guy looks like he got like bit on the top of his head or something. I don't know what that is. Looking a little gnarly. Right in the side of the mouth. Circle hook did its job. All right, there we go. First fish. Honestly, if there's just a bunch of these dudes around, I might mess around and put on a spoon or something see what we can get but it's not bad man that probably most likely that's an eater for sure boom water's super nice and clear i thought for a split second there i was like dude could this be a pompano hey i'm just happy to get the skunk off the freaking beach honestly all right well let's see if anybody else is out here maybe there's a bluefish that doesn't got a weird like thing on them i'm down to eat a blue i'm down to eat whatever honestly I'm just happy. I mean, it's probably like, I don't know, three hours, three and a half since we've been out here without a fish to get one on the board feels good, man. I think it, it's been more like discouraging as well, just because of the shrimp situation. I was really trying real hard to get some more ghost shrimp. I looked online, they could be like four to six feet down. And you guys can see like there's holes, holes, holes all around here. I thought like it would just be easy you just go you know shrimp 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 seems like it's a little bit more difficult than that 
cool thing about where we're fishing right now though there's a lot of these holes which you know bait and stuff but look at this all along the surf here there's so many of these little coquina clamshells oh there's a freaking duck right there dude what the heck beach duck it's like surfing the waves hold on look at that y'all see that beach duck what are you doing all the way out here man the surfer duck oh i think this just got bit hello I think we're gonna be on this one actually. Hopefully we don't end up with a duck. I don't know if we actually have something on here. I wanted to check this bait anyway and it was kind of bopping and nothing's on here. I'm honestly surprised we haven't hooked up with any whiting yet. Usually all along the surf, like that's the main thing I catch. Whiting are really cool and they're one of the tastiest fish you can get out here. And like, I did not realize so told you guys the other video i went to a fish market recently and it was just cool to see all the fish we catch around here and all the prices and stuff dude it looked like whiting it was expensive i'll have to go back maybe like we could film a video where we catch stuff and then we compare it to like you know how much in cash we caught compared to the store does that make any sense fish market fish and challenge i don't know you know did they have bluefish i feel like i did not see bluefish Maybe that's not, I mean, yeah, something people really would buy. I did want to show you guys this too. So look at where we are fishing right out here. This is what I was talking about earlier. You look to the left a little bit, see all those waves, all that white water and stuff. That's shallow water. That's a bunch of uh, sandbars. And then you come over here, it's a little bit deeper of water. Not as much white water, not as many sandbars. And you go over this way to the right a little bit, you can kind of see a little bit more waves. So. For my eyes, it looks like we're in the right spot. Not saying that fish won't be in the white water or in those areas, I don't know. From what I've heard, you kind of want to find spots like this. Okay, man, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just a guy with a bait sucker. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a fish on. Or do we? Yeah, we got, we got a fish. I think. What do we have here? Oh yeah, we got something. Sometimes it's a little bit harder on this big rod to feel it when you reel it in. Like, do I actually have something on there? Let's do swimming to the left. What is this? What is this? Oh my God. Oh my freaking god. Dude. Is that a keeper? I don't know if that's a keeper. Dude, freaking pompano. You gotta be kidding me. I just caught my first freaking pompano of the year. I don't think that's a keeper. Oh, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. He bit the bottom one. I gotta get this back out there. That is for sure not a keeper. His mouth is a little messed up. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is probably about 9 or 10 inches. Oh man, they get way bigger. All right, I gotta get this guy out there because apparently, from what I've heard, oh, see, look at this. Frick. People say when there's pompano, there's pompano. Is this one? Hold on. Dude, my heart's racing. All this time, all this effort put in. This is what I've heard happens, unless this is another bluefish or something. When they're here, they're here, and it just goes bonkers. You just want to get your rods in the water and have as many chances as you get of getting a big one that's big enough to keep i mean this we don't know what this is yet please what is this i want to get that other rod back out there what do we got okay not mad about that whoa giant waiting giant waiting those are tasty fish and as I said, expensive fish. It's like the tide change though, you know? It's gonna try to put this in the same spot. It was when we got that bite. Right out there. Ooh, flip of a switch, man. It's that size, sometimes you just gotta be patient. I cannot believe we caught a pompadour. And for those of you who might be newer here or not familiar with the channel, I am from Delaware. Not the most in tune with this fishery. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure these fish out and be in the right place at the right time. Dude, that was so cool, just even to catch one.
my screen dirty? I feel like every time I freaking film a... Are we good? Oh, it's dirty. That's like my biggest downfall, filming saltwater and especially beach vids. My freaking lens is always dirty. Woo -hoo. All right. And a lot of you guys might be wondering like, dude, how are you gonna keep a fish? Like, what do you mean you're gonna keep a fish? She did bring a cooler out here. The cool thing about this backpack that I put all my stuff in, I don't wanna look away, but I am gonna look away. It is a cooler up top in the backpack. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's insulated. So I literally have an ice pack right here. Oh, 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 oh. Getting bit. We got fish on. Oh, dude, this feels better. I think. It's so hard to tell on this rod. Oh my gosh, dude. This rod to my right is getting freaking clobbered. I can barely keep up with two rods. We didn't even get to put that fish back in the backpack yet. All right, boom. That is, okay, that's not exactly, that's not what we want. That is a catfish. And we still have fish on this rod. I think we have fish on. Tell you, man, sometimes all it takes is a little bit of patience. Hope this isn't a catfish as well, though. What is that? Okay, another whiting. It's another big whiting, too. Sheesh. Big, big whiting. Look at the freaking... Yeah. That's a nice fish. It's interesting. Usually you catch these cats when the water is a little bit murkier. From what I've seen, at least. There we go. That's the catfish. Let him go. You can eat those dudes, too. Okay. Chill, 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 chill. Another nice whiting. I wouldn't mind getting another whiting take, but I'm going to save it for the incoming giant pompano we're going to catch. Oh, the tide is coming in. Oh, yeah. Coming to think of it, though, that pompano we caught, might, that might be the biggest pompano I've ever caught in my life. Still not legal, but we're getting somewhere. Other cool part about this, too, is that, like, we're literally all out here by ourselves, man. Nobody else around. Just us, the water, and a dream. Come on, Big Rod, you can do it. No more catfish. Daddy Pomp is out here somewhere. Oh. Freaking flung that. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is there a fish on here? I definitely think the more I get into this kind of fishing, the more I'm probably going to be wanting to invest in different rods. Oh, we do have fish on here. Alright, another whiting. Another big air whiting too, jeez. Let me know what kind of surf rods you guys use, especially like pompano fishing and stuff. I need something that can get out pretty far, probably like definitely over 10 feet, maybe like close to 13. Here's the whiting. But I'd also like a little bit more sensitivity because this is like, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but it'll just make it a little bit more fun because this is hard sometimes to, you know, tell if I got something on it. Oh, jeez. Oh, we got a fish on here, baby. Or not. All right, I just changed out the battery on the GoPro and we reeled this dude in. I mean, honestly, better than nothing. I wonder if those dudes are just abundant or if they're going after this shrimp that's... I mean, it's not the freshest shrimp. Maybe we should just go straight bites. I don't know. These catfish fight hard, though. I thought that was something big. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude, we have fish on... We're just getting hammered. What is out here right now? This feels better. Whatever the heck this is. Oh, it came off. No. We got a fish, I think. Oh my gosh. Dude, I cannot keep up with two rods right now. Big whiting.
That's a fish on there. What the heck is that? I won't put too much pressure. This feels like something good. Hold on. Oh man. Not the catfish. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna try something to maybe avoid these catfish a little bit, possibly. We're gonna try to throw in just the bites. I mean, they might still hit this, I don't know. We're just doing some experimenting. Come on, that was like such a tease though. One pompano and just no pompano for the next like, I don't know how many fish. At least we're catching fish, but you know what I mean? What a tease. All right, so that rod we just did straight coquina clam strips and then this one we're just gonna do straight blue crab strips see if you I mean any, anything wants to bite this I don't know okay well I will say ever since switching to just the uh, bait strips I don't think we've got a bite <laughs> I don't know we'll see we're not looking for just any bite so Holy crap. What the? Okay. Okay, we got a fish on here. I think I just was getting bit on my other one too. All right, so this is just the strips. Oh, we're getting bit on that one too. Come on, let's see. What is just biting the strips? Same stuff? Oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that rod's about to freaking... Uh-oh. Okay. Well, we've got something big on this rod to my left. What is this? Okay, waiting. He almost just got spooled. Turn it around. Oh, man. Just popped off. I think, honestly, we got bit by something and then we freaking got sharked. Oh, no weight on here anymore. Dang it. I tied that rig, man. These Sputnik sinkers aren't freaking cheap, too. Freaking shark. That's my fault. I hooked the fish. I just didn't... I'm doing too much. Couldn't bring it in. Yep, clean cut. Snapped us off. Darn, man. I don't know if you guys saw it. I legit almost like got actually spooled there, too. Darn it, man. That could have been like a freaking pump, too, that just got chewed. Just very slow, very slow, very slow. Then out of nowhere, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, my gosh. Double. <laughs> yeah, I think we got some fish. Sheesh, I wonder if that's what happened when we got freaking shark, dude. Shark couldn't resist. Look at that. Look at that. Double whiting. All right, so originally for the cooking part of this video, I was like, yo, it has been so long since we've cooked like on the spot out where we catch the fish. So I was like, dude, for this video, it'd be cool to do a little beach catch and cook. Oh my gosh, it is so freaking windy today. So um, the day we were at the beach, we were out there so long, I literally thought I was about to croak, dude. I needed water, I needed food. So I was like, all right, well, we're gonna just take this fish. We have nice whiting. We're gonna take it out to the beach tomorrow and cook it. Both days after that, super stormy, extremely windy. And today, dude, I was like, all right, three days. That's not that long. We still got like a freshest fish. We went to the beach today. You guys can see it took a nice thumbnail and I was going to set up, but it was just so freaking windy. Two issues with that. One, sand was blowing everywhere. It like, literally, it went all in my cast iron pan. It went all into all our freaking crap. And then also like, I don't know if the light would hold on this little grill we got. So either way, today it's, you know, just you gotta roll with the punches. Today we're gonna cook outside and this is gonna be like experimental thing. I've only cooked twice with this little burner, like since we got it. So we're gonna acclimate with that. We're gonna acclimate with our outdoor cooking. And then hopefully in um, some future videos here very soon, we're gonna do some sick cooking, but just sometimes, you know, the weather doesn't exactly cooperate. You crying cause you wanted to be included? Hello, how are you today? All right, so here's our setup. We literally just put this out there. And dude, the butter's already melting. It's so hot out with the sun and stuff. So we're gonna get to cooking. We're gonna get the fish. And then we've got some of this stuff. If you know, you know. And we've got a nice lemon. Just doing some simple outdoor cooking. And as I said, I think we only cooked like once or twice since we've had this burner, which is like, dude, we can make some sick stuff on here, man. Cause we've got two burners and you can control, I think the burn a little bit more than if you guys remember, we had a single burner 
What are you smelling? And that one, it just wasn't as easy to control like the fire and I feel like we kept burning crap. All right, so here are our two fillets. We are just going to put a little bit of this spicy static seasoning. Again, there will be a link down in the description below if you want to give it a shot. I literally put the stuff on mostly everything. It is freaking delicious and it really does help support the channel. All right, we got the heat on. I'm gonna wait for that to warm up. Just a little bit more, a lot of butter in there. This is honestly kind of nice, man. Doing some outdoor chefing. All right, I think it's time. This is starting to bubble. Fish in. So just something super simple today. Um, I do have something, I don't know how to explain it, man. Um, I haven't really talked about this before. I'll probably explain at some point later on. But basically, I have uh, been dealing with some health issues for the past, like, while like five six years maybe it's kind of a long story but basically this week i am going in for a medical procedure um for one of my organs and i don't know man i'm super stressed out about it you know not the biggest fan of doctors or doctor stuff oh that's smelling so good but yeah hopefully everything is going to be good with that I figured I'd let y'all know though in case you know there's any distance between uploaded videos i'm trying to get out as fast as i can the weather has been kind of you know, not really cooperating. But then, yeah, we'll see how this all goes. But just wanted to give y'all an update on that. I probably won't talk too much about it, but I'm just the guy, you know, we all go through stuff and hopefully uh, it's all gonna be good. Again, I appreciate the heck out of all y'all for all the freaking support. Just like with a lot of stuff, all you can do sometimes is be positive. One thing I am positive about, this smells freaking good, man. I wanna do some camping trips. I wanna do a lot more outdoor cooking. And I think with these two burners, we could do some really cool recipes, so. We gotta get this back in the rotation of videos. And boom, there we go, man. I don't even know if y'all can see that. It's so freaking sunny, I can't even see the screen. Would have been cooler on the beach, but uh, there we go, we have fresh caught waiting. That was a really crazy good day of fishing. A lot of waiting, I mean, the beach was kind of infested with them. There we go, man. Fresh caught fish. Hot. All right, we're gonna give this a taste test real quick. Whiting has got to be like as easy as it is to catch them and as good as they taste like fishermen are honestly spoiled around these areas man They're just a white flaky clean tasting fish. What are you doing man? Was it hot out here? You want to go in the air conditioning? Is that your ball? You chilling with the ball? Oh man, it is hot out there. The cool thing is we did catch I think our biggest pompano ever and the first one of this spring getting that much closer to catching a keeper That one is probably pretty darn close to a keeper, but people catch them like I see a lot of people catching like 15s I want to keep one like that big, but I'm just happy we caught one and I'm just happy we caught a bunch of fish had a great day But uh, yeah, man, there's just a lot going on right now Yeah, I appreciate the heck out of all y'all for all of the freaking support nothing crazy today as far as the catch a cook But we're gonna do some cool stuff here in the future hopefully if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to check out these on the screen you probably like those as well and as always man thank you guys so much for all the freaking support all i gotta say is let's keep the film thank y'all for watching see you next you video wanna know just where